If you're staying in Boho, one of the most popular tourist attractions on Penglao Island is the Boho Bee Farm. Here I took one of their 30 minute tours of the farm, which costs 30 peso per person. You can also stay at the Boho Bee Farm as it has some rooms. The actual tour is pretty informative. Uh, we stay here for a moment. Okay, first of all, my name is Ariel. Then we have three areas to go. First, we have the organic farming. Next, we proceed to the crops and livelihood area. Where in crops and livelihood area, you can experience the weaving. The old culture of Buholano. You can experience that one. Um, the last part, we, I will bring you to the bees. Then you can hold the bees. You can take a picture, take a photos. But be sure, while holding the bees, you will hold it tight. Be sure we will not trap sure, it. Sir, uh, we are doing organic farming. No chemicals, no pesticides, everything is natural. Do you love this? This is the lemongrass. This is good for uh, soap, for chicken soap, for seafood soap. But here in Bohol Bee Farm, we are using this one as a juice. Fresh lemongrass juice. The benefits of using lemongrass, it helps to lower down your blood pressure, your hypertension. This is the malungay. Uh, this is very famous here in Philippines. We call this one malungay. Uh, we use this one for uh, soap. This is considered as vegetables. And this is good for ice cream also. Here in Bohol Bee Farm, we are using this one for ice cream. Malungay ice cream. And malungay ice cream is our top seller in terms of ice cream. Sir, this is what we call raffia. Okay, raffia is a finished product from loom hand weaving machine. And the fiber of this is coming from the young leaves of buri or bully tree fiber. A few familiar with pumpkin. After the demonstration of my co-worker, sir, what we are going to observe, we have to observe the foot and hand combination. After we have to step also the right bamboo. Shoot this slide going to left. Release our foot, pull twice. Here in Bee Farm, to tell you honestly, we back two years ago because of the super typhoon Pablo. That's one of the devastating typhoon that visit her in Bohol Bee Farm. Our be uh, another calamity, the super typhoon Yolanda visit also her in Bee Farm. And we have only one box that is ruined already by typhoons. They migrate also, and the other box right there that is empty already because of the uh, typhoon. And this bees, this is coming from the local bees, the uh, local beekeepers that we have. This is not ours anymore. Before we are selling our own produce of honey. Uh, right now we are just maintaining one box for the main or the business, the name Bohol Bee Farm, where we start our business. Uh, inside in the beehive, there is only one queen bee or mother bee, and there are 50 to 60 thousand workers inside in the beehive. Be the first thing to remember. All worker bees inside in the beehive are the male or female. They are all female. Girl power inside. Women's power. All the duties, all the responsibilities inside in the beehive is done by a female bee or worker bees. The question is, where are the male bees? Where are they? Okay, we are lucky that the queen bee is here. We try to look the queen bee. That's the queen bee. Quite bigger. Oh, that one? Yeah. yeah. That's the queen bee. Which one? The bigger. The biggest. Oh, I see. I can see it now. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Yes, the queen bee. Uh, we back to the explanation. The male bees are, be, are they, they call that one drones. They are very lazy, the drones. They don't know how to work. They're good only for one thing. For meeting for reproduction only but sad to know right after the meeting what will happen they die yes they will die they will die with a dead smile at least <laughs> they die happy before they die additional information the first seed of bees that will goes out or fly early in the morning they're called that one scout worker bees they're assigned to search for food to look for flowers but they are not the one who gather they're just assigned to search to look for it after the information that they have they will come back directly to their hive and they will tell or inform to collector bee. The collector bee is the one who gather the food. Question, how did they communicate by each other? They communicate through dancing. Okay, first dance we call that one the wiggle or waggle dance. It shows the exact direction of the food. 
the exact direction of the flowers. It shows the direction. The second dance, we call that one the round dance. The number of, of dance, the faster of the dance, it shows the distance. The organic food they serve at the restaurant, which is a popular place to eat in Bohol. The Bohol Bee Farm is well worth checking out if you're staying in Bohol. For more things to do in Bohol, please check out the website. The link will be below the description under the video. For more videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.